Welcome back fishing friends to Schools Out Fishing. I'm in Sheboygan again this evening and I'm fishing with new friends Mike and Pete. How's it going? Oddly enough, Mike was messaging me on Facebook after watching some of my videos. He's like, hey, I got a nice Alumacraft. Let's go fishing together. And I pretty much won't turn anything down, so because I don't have a boat, I'll I'll meet up with anybody. So that's kind of like to you, like you want to go fishing? Let's go. We'll put something together. Anyway, we just set up lines, uh, fishing about 100 feet of water off of Sheboygan. That's about you know three miles out, or give or take a little bit. We're straight off of the harbor, and uh, we're hoping to get on some big kings. We're gonna kind of tough it out until it gets dark and what we really want to see is a big four-year-old mature king salmon. Hopefully we can get on them. They don't call this big king alley for nothing. We want to see some big whoppers. Stick around, you'll be hooked. Get him, Pete, get him! There yep. Hooked up! What do you think it is? Small king, rainbow, coho? Coho. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Here's the diver coming in. Oh. He's all feisty right at the back. Oh! oh. It's chaos. We got them though. In the net. Yep, looks like a king, eh? Yep, small king salmon. <laughs> He'll hold flower, right? Yeah. Big or small, we love them all. Good eater. That is a good eater. <laughs> That's a good one, Pete. Yep. Good one for the... Good eater. Yep, good one for the <laughs> oven or the grill. So Mike, you have a 17 foot boat and to most standards that would be a fairly small boat for fishing Lake Michigan, but it's definitely doable. What, What is it about this boat that makes you feel so confident in being able to catch these king salmon out here? Well, I've got a real nice track system set up. Um, the Lumacraft comes with what they call their Alumatrack track system. And for the longest time I had been running Scotty rod holders on the Alumatrack and been doing all right. Everything's been working fine, but pulling the wire divers like this uh, it's just putting so much stress on those rod holders. I just recently upgraded to the Canon rod holders and Canon track and then I'm using a Trax Tech product that adapts to the Aluma track where I can get a real solid track system on here uh, that I don't have any worry about these rod holders getting pulled in by a big four-year-old king. And then the other thing that's super slick on a small boat like this is I've got the bow mount trolling motor. I use the Motor Guide XI5 which has a GPS integration into my Lowrance unit and so I use that for all my autopilot. So once we get set up, we set our heading and we can do all the steering, all the adjustments with that. We don't have to worry about having a guy on the wheel to steer. We can just have the bow mount do the driving for us. One thing that I'm noticing as I look around the boat is I see plenty of rod holders for places to put rods if you're going to run more rods or you know just if you have to move things around if you have a fish on. What I like to think is that you can never have too many rod holders. They really don't get in the way and they'll only help you out in the long run. What's it like? What's it's going fun. on? It's pulling good. He's bulldogging. <laughs> Got Mike all hooked up here. Sun is setting. Real, 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 real. <laughs> what is this, a five color? Yeah. What's on it? Another mag spoon. All right. Oh yeah, what do we got there? Not the one we're after, 
but still a nice yeah. fish. Three year old. Yep. I guess that's a larger size stinger, huh? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Beautiful fish. Awesome. That'll taste good. Yeah. Pete surfed up. Yep. What's there this one, do you think? Big yeah. one, little one? Medium. Another three-year-old. Yep. Fishing into the dark a little bit tonight just because we wanted a little bit more action. We were hoping they'd turn on. I wouldn't say that they've really turned on a lot, but we're still getting a few bites here and there. third one for the evening yeah well I'm gonna wrap up this video I had a lot of fun fishing with Mike and Pete we're gonna pick up lines in just a little bit it's pitch black dark out here and usually out of Sheboygan we don't fish too much after dark I had a great time though and can't wait to do it again with Mike and Pete